What's going on, YouTube? This is Trainer Connor. It's time for another Wi-Fi battle video in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. So I hope you guys are having a great week. I'm having a really good week up until today. I was kind of annoyed by the things that happened today. Uh, so I'm here to narrate a battle just because it's like, ugh, I'm stressed out. A lot of things are not going my way. Mine as well just come here and just narrate a battle and just get out of me. Okay, so today's battle is a UU match against Subi, one of my great rifles here on Twitter. So make sure you follow him on Twitter. I'll put his Twitter handle in the description. And by the way, if you guys have not seen my last video, wait till the outro or just go down the playlist and watch it there. Uh, because we're using a particular theme team that I'm trying to use. I haven't had much uh, success with this team yet. And because we're doing UU, I actually made a substitution. Uh, the substitution was I replaced Rotom Wash for Lantern. Because if you factor in Rotom Wash, the team is essentially OU because Rotom is in the OU tier. So having Lantern in the mix instead of Rotom, it's essentially UU or below. So that's what we're going to be doing. Everyone else is the same. We've got Hegfony, we've got Vesuviano, the Mega Camera Up, uh, Cerebrali, the Choice Specs Ridiculous, and then we have Knight, the uh, Doublade, the pre evolved form of Eagle Slash, and then we have uh, a bulk up Scrafty. Okay, so for Subi, he's got Gligar, he has Blastoise, Vileplum, Magneton, he's got a lot of bulky things. Yes, and then we have Umbreon to deal with as well, and then we have Kingdra to deal with as well. So, Kingdra, eh, not too worried about it, but everyone else is like, uh, how do we handle this? Because he's got Gligar potentially holding the Eevee like. Same goes for Magneton. And uh, of course, the Eevee like boosts up their defenses by a lot. So, and then Umbreon. Umbreon is like the. It's the Pokemon, it's the main Pokemon of the UU tier. It's really bulky. I can't really hit it very hard. Yes, I have uh, Scrafty, but the gosh darn Umbreon has foul play. So if I set up a bulk up or two, foul play uses the attack that I set up against me. And it just does a lot of damage to me. So that's a little unfortunate. Uh, and to top it all off, Umbreon has really good special defense, so even my Mega Camera Up can't do much to Umbreon. And the thing has Wish and Protect and Toxic, so gosh darn it. So let's get to the match. Uh, it's a 30 turn battle, so you know, it's gonna be a long one, but we'll do the best we can. So I'm gonna start with Head Funny. And we see Subi leading out with Gligar, the pre-evolved form of Gliscor, which I hate facing Gliscor, but Gligar is, you know, equally annoying to deal with. Since they all have a knockoff, I am subjected to use Leech Seed here on the first turn, uh, which, you know, that's a little annoying because he can just switch out and get rid of it. Here he goes with the Vileplume, which I actually expected him to switch behind this thing. Here I get to reveal a uh, hidden power fire because I wanted to do it and see just how much it would do, but we just see it's doing pathetic damage and I'm really surprised that Sludge Bomb took me out because Vileplume Yes, it has good special attack, but we see the black sludge, so that means he's like, you know, bulky and stuff, but like, man, that did a lot of damage for him being bulky and stuff like that. Now, I knew, since I went into uh, Cerebrali, 
I immediately switched out into Scrafty expecting Umbreon. I'm like, yes, this is perfect, because now I can just, you know, go for the, um... I was going to go for a Drain Punch, but I figured he might switch out again, expecting that. So, I actually go with a Bulk Up. And this is actually going to start a miniature uh, Skull War between... Gang V and Gligar here. So here he goes for Earthquake. I'm like, okay, that's that's not doing much. And then we go for Drain Punch. For some reason, I thought Drain Punch would do some neutral damage, but we see it's uh, not very effective. So that's a little embarrassing there in terms of, you know, strategizing and stuff like that. Uh, but now we're going to go for Crunch which actually does the same amount as Drain Punch. So we see just how annoying just having the Eevee like on the pre-evolved forms of Pokemon. I say that's broken. It's broken. Here he shows me acrobatics. Had he done that initially, I think I would have been in a tough spot because I'm at plus two defense. So if he went for acrobatics earlier before I set up, I would be a uh, you know critical range of HP, and I just go for a poison jab, guys. <sighs> I'm telling you this right now. I have lots of mistakes going on here, and yes, I haven't battled that much previously. So, I mean, those are just excuses, but. Seriously, I should know this by now. I should just go for the crunch and just end it all there. But no. Uh, but either way, he could just go into Magneton and finish me off. Or, you know, I could have switched out and give his Suviano and take a flash cannon then. I don't know. We got options, but I just neglected to consider them. That's what I'm saying. So we go into the Suviano, the Mega Camera Up, and my. my you know, move of choice that I went for is actually Earth Power. Because I realized he has a blast choice on the team preview there. So I'm like, you know what, let's just go for an Earth Power. It's super effective against Magneton anyway. And because he has a blast choice, I figured that was a great move to go for. Now I expected him to go with the Scald right here. So we're gonna go into Lantern. And um, I haven't really used Lantern that much. I know what it does in competitive play. It's got Scald as well. It has, you know, Volt Switch. And um, I gave it leftovers just for this battle. And um, sometimes I'll have like a Citrus Berry. I don't know which one is better, but that's really not the focus. So I go for Confused Ray. Um, I actually have Confused Ray. I actually, at the end of this battle, I replaced it with Ice Beam. So um, that's the thing there. Because I figured, you know, since we see uh, Vileplume being confused, there's a chance that it might not, you know, uh, hit me. But then, you know, at the end, I'm like, it's really risky at the end. It's just really risky. It's really risky. Because see right there, Giga Drain, he hits there, and then he could, you know, snap out of confusion. At the end of the day, just go for Ice Beam. Just go for Ice Beam. That's why I did. That's why I did at the end of this battle. Because Confuse Ray, yeah, it's got, you know, some change in momentum there, but it's just 50-50. Uh, it just forces those 50-50s. Anyway, so with that rank out of the way, we go for the full switch. Going to Cerebrali once again. He's still confused. He does hit himself there, but he would have just gone for another Giga Drain. And it might have done something to Cerebrali, but that's neither here nor there. He switches out and goes into Magneton. I am choice specs, so I just go for the choice specs flash cannon. But now I have to switch out again, because I am locked in on that move. It's not very effective. Let's sigh. Oh, well. Uh, we go back and give it Suviano. And my opponent, I believe, predicts that. We'll see. We'll see. He goes for signal beam. I don't know. I, I really don't know. Signal beam is... 
Yeah, you got the confusion. So, I don't know. Uh, Signal Beam is rather weak, but he got that, you know, 25% chance of the confusion. And that's going to help him here as I hit myself when Umbreon comes in. Uh, he goes for the foul play. Like I said, you know, if I set up or something, that move is going to come to bite me there. I hit myself again. For Suriana, why? I would have gotten a lot of damage to this Umbreon had I hit him twice there. We're going to Knight uh, once again, or actually this is my first time using him in this battle, so fun stuff. Uh, we did use him in the last video, but like in this particular video, I'm using him for the first time. Anyways, I go for Sacred Sword, not going to do very much to the Blastoise, which I'm really surprised about. Um, but like I said in my last video, I need to put Sword Stance onto um, Knight. I might do that. So here he goes for Scald again, and he gets to burn. That's okay because Ridiculous has the magic guard ability that makes it so that he doesn't suffer any damage from the burn or anything like that, which is awesome. Uh, I can go for Shadow Ball here. Because it's like, yeah, I know Magicon is coming back in, so let's just go for the appropriate move here. Uh, which is okay, up until Umbreon is back for more shenanigans. <sighs> I just don't have anything for Umbreon. I'm telling you guys that Umbreon is definitely the Pokemon that you should have on any team. It's not suitable for uh, OU for some reason. I don't know why, but... Yeah, foul play is going to do some damage. I go for Ice Beam. And... Yeah. No more words for Umbreon. It's just too bulky. He gets another critical hit on the foul play that he goes for. And, um, yeah. That's pretty much the game. We got three more turns to go here. Um, all he has to do is just go for the foul play. That's all he has to do, because uh, it's, you know, super effective and whatnot. I just go for Iron Head, and it does a little bit more, because I get a critical hit. Because I got a critical hit. So, I gotta tell you, Umbreon is the MVP of this battle by my opponent. He's using it really well. Um, yeah, just... I need to use Umbreon because it's really working out for my opponents. Um, I do ha I do have Focus Blast for this Umbreon, but like I'm telling you, I can you know miss it and um, I actually went for the Energy Ball instead of Focus Blast because I don't want to miss it. But it, you know I'm done. I'm just done. I can't I can't cave this anymore. So this match is over. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, we have a third battle, I think. I have to double check though. Um, where I get to use uh, my Pokemon and they have the correct moves on it. So we have um, Headphony with like Knock Off. We have Sword Stance on Knight. And then I kind of change with either Lantern or Rotom. But we'll see. I might. I might. I, I don't know. We'll see, okay? So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the match. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and with that said, I'll see you in the next Wi-Fi battle video. And uh, make sure you follow me on Twitter. Make sure you, uh, you know, check out my earlier videos that you haven't already. And uh, yeah, have a great day, everyone. See ya.